up everyone this is Ramona Wilkes aka the Rollmobile and I am back yes but I have some good news and some bad news so which one do you want first so I live in Houston Texas the fourth largest city in the United States and unless you've been living under a rock, you know, not too long ago, a tiny little flood problem happened. Actually, not tiny, huge, epic, devastating rainfall happened. Yeah, so six feet of water and ramen did not mix very well. So I lost ramen. <laughs> I am not a quitter. I tried to reboot ramen by giving it the works. New spark plugs, changed out the carburetor, drained and cleaned the gas tank. I mean, everything you can think of, I did. A little less than $100 and about 10 hours of work. And yes, I did get it running again. I sure did. But after such a traumatic experience, he never rode the same, no. But it's all good. And I didn't want to put more time and work and money into it. So I decided to sell it. I'm going to sell it for about two, $300. So if somebody wants to take it, tear it apart for parts or try to rebuild it back to its former glory, they can. Now, I know what you're thinking. Shauna, are you getting a new scooter? And the question to that, question, the answer to that is yes. Yes, I am getting a new scooter, which brings me to the good news. The good news is that I get a new scooter. So I'm doing things different. Last time I ordered a scooter online, it was almost a thousand dollars. I don't remember the exact price because it was so long ago, but, but, <laughs> but I am getting a new one and I'm going to an actual scooter dealership. Now there are four, as I said, I live in Houston, Texas, so there are four within reasonable distances of me. And when I say reasonable, I will say no more than an hour drive. To, I, I eliminated them based on these reasons uh, or which one I chose to go to because, okay, say, dang, I don't remember the names of the places now. Okay, so there's a Vespa shop. Now, I eliminated the Vespa shop because out the door price for a Vespa is gonna hit me at least $6,000 and I just don't have that right now. It would be beautiful to get me one of those Vespas, but not to debt. And uh, the second one I eliminated is, boom, put it right there, because I don't remember the name at the moment, but it's a Chinese generic scooter shop, which is cool, that's what I had before. Not knocking it, but I would like to upgrade this time. And then also, they overpriced their uh, scooters. It's like $1,600 for this generic Chinese scooter. It's like, I don't think so. I don't think so. Next one is, I think, Scoots and then Scooter Smith. Both of them are fine and dandy. However, Scoots is a bit further than I would like to drive, while Scooter Smith is like 25 minutes away from me. So that's the one I chose to go to. Check it. I'm gonna get right to it. They have some really nice scooters there uh, from different brands, ranging right? from Genuine Buddies, Kimco, Sims, even Vespas. So it didn't take me long before I was like, yo, I want that one. And it's one thing I say, you should always do your research before purchasing any kind of scooter, because originally I wanted the Kimco like 150i ABS, but, they said those aren't even available in the US yet. So it's like, sucks. 
But moving on, can you guess which a scooter I picked? Drum roll. Yep, the Havana 125 Classic. Now the floor model was a light baby blue and I was just not feeling that color. So they gave us the options or he gave us the options. The owner, I think his name was Steven, Stan Steven, one of those two. On the wall, there was like these five different color plates and I already knew the different colors that come in because after, like I said, I did my research and that was my backup scooter plan. So if I couldn't get the one I wanted, this would be the next best thing for me. The process went with uh, me, when I went there, the floor model was light blue. I told him I wanted the white. So he was like, yo, we can order it for you, brand new, 2018, but you have to put a deposit down. So I was like, cool, $500 deposit. Then um, it was a Saturday I went. Then do, 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 do. I was supposed to pick it up Saturday again, but it rains. It was, I'm not really caring to ride in the rain. So come, and then they're closed on Monday. So Tuesday, I went back and got my Ascuta. <laughs> Ramen relives again. Now, I thought about the top case, the rack in the top case option, because that would be awesome for stores. However, to get that, it would be an additional $200, which I don't care to spend on a very tiny little box. I'd rather spend a nice little whopping 50 bucks on a really, really nice backpack and carry that around than 200 bucks for a top case that would be so hard to remove or a backpack I could throw on, get off, throw it back on, so forth and so on. Now, as I said before, the my original ramen I got for around, almost a thousand bucks. Well, this one I upgraded, you know, the Havana uh, Classic uh, 125 was about three times that price so uh, and that include tax title and insurance the way the insurance works is because uh, they register your scooter for you which saves you a whole bunch of time money and energy I don't know about money but energy and they'll register it for you but you need insurance in order for them to register it so you can do the call Geico Progressive uh, all those other insurance companies which will charge you a lot more than you want to spend or with them they offer insurance as well it's basically a hundred bucks for the entire year ha to all you four-wheel drivers out there take that with your three four hundred dollars a month in insurance eat that dust Sorry. On the next vlog, I will include details about my scooter as well as my initial riding experience. If you want to make sure you get the latest updates on when I post vlogs, hit that subscribe button for me real quick. And that's it for this vlog. Shauna Ramen out.